Hi guys, we are here with another Athletes Unlimited live chat and we have a very special guest as always. I feel like these women are just incredible, but this woman specifically, I have such uh, just admire, she is so amazing. I admire her from afar. I feel like we're never in the same area, but she is so incredible still. And I can't wait till this pandemic, so, till we can get a new normal so I can link up with her because she is one of a kind and I can't wait for you guys to learn more about her. I'm going to learn more about her. I'm so excited for this one. So let me see if we can get her on here. Let's see. Waiting, Erica. There you are. Okay. She should be hopping on here. Hello. Hi, Erica. How are you? I'm good. Oh, you look great. Where are you Thanks. right now? Um, I'm in California, just chilling in the backyard. Oh, where in California? Beautiful, in California? sunny uh, Carlsbad, San Diego. Cool. I'm in South Orange County, so I'm not that far from you. So we're actually in the same state at the same time. I was just saying, like, while I was <laughs> waiting for you to get on, I'm like, we're never near each other. This is amazing. Okay, before we start, I need to tell everybody who you are, what you have done, the crazy things that you've done, because you've done so much. So I need to make sure that these people know exactly who you are and what we're dealing with, okay? So we've got two-time All right. All-American, four-time SLC player and hitter of the year. She holds 20, 20, I'm going to repeat that, <laughs> 20 McNeese and Southland records. Four-time McNeese female athlete of the year, had her McNeese jersey retired in 2019, like quickly. This was done quick. The <laughs> retirement came quick. Captain of the Italian national team, Erica Piancastelli. We give you a virtual clap here. Thank you. Uh, we're so excited. We're so excited to have you on here. I'm, I'm seeing some of the comments. You've got some fans tuning in. This is great. Um, <laughs> we are going to ask you some pretty much just basic questions just to see what you're doing, where you're at, like what's going on in your life right now. And then we're going to go to kind of some fun random questions. So I'm pretty sure you know how this works. I think you've done your fair share of interviews. So we're going to just start it off. You're in Carlsbad. I'm ready. Talk to us about what you're doing, like, right now in the middle of the pandemic. What's going on? Well, right now, I recently just got back from Italy just to um, settle down in the States, um, get adapted to the time change, and just keep training until I leave for Chicago with AU. Um, but, I mean, in Italy, we've just been – I quarantined for four months – and I finally got back on the field for a couple of weeks before heading back out here. So I've just been, you know, taking it all in. I haven't been back in California for a while, so it's been nice to be home. Yeah. Talk to us about the situation in Italy. Like, how was quarantining there? What exactly? I mean, were you strictly, like, couldn't see anybody? Or how did that look? It was strict. Uh, for a good three and a half months, I never left the house. Couldn't leave the house. Um, I think only one family member could go grocery shopping. So I did not see the outdoors for three months. I was going insane. But um, after oh. that, they started phases and they slowly started opening back up. And then um, softball was able to start back up with some COVID regulations, but we were able to get back on the field. So that was super exciting and much needed at that time. Yeah, for sure. I feel like all of us have been itching for some physical activity and not like, mm -hmm. not like the inside the home physical like getting outside fresh air yeah like fresh dirt, air yeah back on. so that's actually coming up for you with athletes unlimited talk about like why did you say yes to doing this it, it was a new concept off the wall a little bit talk about that decision well uh I had Jade Rhodes reached out to me and asked me if I was interested and this at the time was like in the middle of my strict corner come back out here be a part of such an amazing league. I said yes right away. I was, um, I honestly, it took five seconds to explain the whole league and I was like, yeah, I'm there. Um, but it's just su such an exciting new opportunity and I think it'll really grow the game of softball and really just 
gave us that platform that a lot of us women have been searching for with this sport. And it's just 54 elite softball players all in one area. And I think that's never happened before. So I'm super excited about that. Yeah. Is there anybody that you're really looking forward to either playing with or against? I feel like at some point you're going to play with everybody. So is there someone that stands out to you? Um, I'm super excited to play against everyone. I haven't really had the chance to play against all these uh, ladies, but um, right. the one that I probably can't wait to play for or play against is Jessie Warren, just because I've watched her play so much and she's just such yeah. a stud. And we've always, you know, we've had, um, we've kept in contact. So I'm just super excited to be able to share the field with her. Yeah, Jessie. Well, I got a chance to share the field with her. Thank goodness on my last year. And she's an incredible player. You're going to have yes. so much. I'm her. so excited. She's a competitor. Like she's got this fire about her. So it's going to be good. I think you're going to really enjoy playing against a lot of these people. That's something in the league I learned was like, man, I've played against you or at some point I knew of you, but like being on the same field is, is pretty cool to do that. So I'm yes. so excited for you. Uh, you played obviously at McNeese and you didn't just play there like you dominated so tell us about that experience your whole like overall college experience at McNeese. McNeese was such an amazing experience for me I think I honestly can't say enough great words about my experience at McNeese it was the best four years of my life I grew tremendously as a player but as a woman as well um I was surrounded all four years. I was surrounded by such amazing teammates and an amazing coaching staff. And it just really pushed me to a level that I never imagined I could reach as a player. Honestly, a lot of the things that I accomplished at McNeese, I never even imagined could happen or I never even thought about happening. So the fact that I was able to experience all that with such an amazing community behind me and amazing teammates behind me really just, it made that moment super special for me. Yeah. What went into that decision to go to McNeese? Like, how did that come about? Well, crazy story. I never really thought about college, like playing in college. Like, I just played softball just because I loved it. And I was playing travel ball. And our coaches were like, just send out emails to all these colleges. And I wasn't really looking into that. And we were at the Colorado tournament and McNeese was there. And he was interested in me and our shortstop, Haley Drew. And we were really close. We've been playing softball together since we were 12. And and then he also offered two other girls, Amber and Tori, that were older than me. And so I think that is what was the first sign to, like, push me to go to McNeese. Is like I already know three, pe three people that are going to be there. So it just makes it so much more comfortable for me going out of state. I go on my official visit, and I fell in love as soon as I was there. I The community, the, the close – family bond that the team had before I even got there the school was small which was nice I wasn't ready for a big school right. and it was just that the whole vibe I got when I got there was it gave me goosebumps so you know when they say like you know when you've gone to your school I'm sure you ah, I'm sure you had yes. this feeling at Oklahoma yeah it's just you you just know when you're at when you're home and so I was super excited and it made it a lot better knowing that I already knew people there yeah, I, that feeling, it, it sounds cliche, like when you're saying it yourself out loud, but it really is such a strong feeling of like, I need to be here. So that's amazing that you got that experience. We were all big fans when you were there. We were like huge fans of Erica. Um, so you're the captain of the Italian national team. How important is that role for you? And kind of take us through your journey of playing with the Italian national team. So I became the team captain, I want to say in 2017. So I had been playing for three years. It was out of the blue. I wasn't expecting it. They just asked me if I was uh, willing to be the team captain. It was a big role to fill because our team captain before me was such a huge role model for me. Um, but it was, it was a role that I thought I was ready to, to take. And I, I felt honored to be able to represent such an amazing country and represent my team and so I took that role and it I think that's what helped me also at McNeese is the experience I have with the national team and being team captain and just being able to lead by example and just show show the girls and show myself the potential that I have and um, it was just I'm super honored to be team captain it's, it's a role that I never 
never could explain well just because the emotions I feel with it. I'm super close to the Italian national team. My mom played. There's a huge story behind it. So it was a it was an honor, a very honorable moment for me. And, and it's it's still a great, great role to have right now. Yeah, I can feel that passion through the phone. So that's pretty cool that you, you have that opportunity. And I'm sure the girls look up to you and love you. Um, there, I know from playing internationally, there are some key differences than playing in the U.S. versus playing in Italy. What are your big key differences between the two? I think the biggest difference is just the level of play. Um, softball in Italy, sadly, is not well known. Um, it's a very minor sport and... Not even baseball isn't really like known that well in Italy. So it's like when people ask us what sport we play, we say softball. They give you that confused look. We say mm -hmm. it's like baseball, and you still get that confused look. So it's like yeah. it's very, very um, not well known. And so I just think the level of play, just um, the tools that the players have in Italy aren't what we have in the States. Mm -hmm. And this whole back and forth for me really allowed me to um, – realize what how lucky I am and realize how good we have it in America with with softball and with sports in general and I think I think other than that is probably just the tools and and the level of play and the yeah. amount of amount of games that they can play yeah well players like you are putting softball on the map for Italy so keep up the good work because I remember going over there and it is it's developing and the Italian national team does a great job of making sure that softball is developing over there so it's yeah. Um, have you always been a power hitter? Like, have you always been that one that was like racking up numbers? Or when did you like kind of notice like, okay, I'm a power hitter. Like I'm doing this. Um, I've always been powerful. I was always a big girl when I was young. Um, <laughs> and I always, my dad always taught me to swing hard, no matter what, always swing hard. So I think that was just like my mindset every single time was to just cr like crush the ball. That's all I wanted to do. Yeah. I don't think it actually clicked until I got to college and I actually started to learn more about the mechanics and, and uh, what it means to be a power hitter. And I also learned the leg kick at that time. So that helped a lot. Yeah, the infamous leg the kick. The infamous that leg kick. Strong. Yeah. And so I think that's when I started to realize it, but the more I look back, I was like, I've always, I've always had some sort of power um, to my swing, but now it's just like, there's actually a reason behind it, I guess you could say. <laughs> Right, right. Talk about your relationship with your dad and like just him, you know, he's, is he still working with Blast? So I feel like he's into the metrics and doing things in that way. So how has that affected your swing and talk about that relationship? My dad has always been my number one fan. He's always helped me um, with my practices and during games. But yeah, he works for Blast now, which is huge. So he's all behind the scientific part of hitting, which for me is, I got to be in the, in the mood to get all these numbers. Cause sometimes, yeah. you know, too many, too many numbers. I'm just like, I just need to feel it. Yeah. But um, he's behind the whole metrics and it helps a lot when we're breaking down my swing and um, he's super passionate about what he does. And it's just, it's nice having my parents in my corner and knowing that they always support me no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Strong bond with dad is important. Um, what is your mindset when you're in the box? Like, are you a thinker or are you, like clear mind, like whatever, what's your mindset when you're in the box? Clear mind. You know, I'm struggling if I start talking about what I was thinking about that at bat. Um, if my mind yeah. is clear, I'm at my best. I just try to keep it as simple as possible. See ball, hit ball. Um, trust my, my practice, my process. Know that I know how to swing the bat. And so I try not to overthink the situation. I feel you on that. Okay. Well, that's, Kind of like your background right there. We're going to get a little bit deeper now. We're going to go into okay. like some random questions. So there's like some serious ones and some fun ones mixed in. But we're going to start with, okay, because I love food. This is my <laughs> first question I have to start with. If I'm coming, <laughs> if I'm in Italy, right? Like I'm back with you in Italy. You're hosting me. What are you making me for dinner on the first night? Like what are you making? All right. First night, I would probably make you some... Um, carbonara pasta it's a uh, it's the typical pasta that we eat in Italy especially before a game because it has so much protein in it but it's just it's a mixture of so many flavors it would actually make you go insane 
Oh, so well, I, I go insane off of like average pasta. So <laughs> like this, I'm you would probably go insane with just the bread, like the basic bread there. Oh. oh, so good. No, I've been, we used to play over there and I was like, dude, I would come back, but I wouldn't like gain any weight. That's the difference. I was like, wait, I'm eating like pasta i'm drinking wine i'm eating bread but it's all like good for you stuff it's like, good no, yeah like, it's not and i'm sure you like i'm sure you walked everywhere too yes. mostly it, yeah yeah you know what i'm gonna move i'm gonna i'm gonna <laughs> head out that way okay do you say soda or do you say pop soda perfect I, we're on the same page i think we could be i've friends. only i think i've heard pop in louisiana and i never knew what that was i was gonna say you probably heard it at college that's where yeah. i started here, and it was at oklahoma and i'm like pop like what is that if i'm you, like okay here's another one of those do you say like i chucked the ball or i chunk the ball chucked neither chucked. i've never really used that but it chucked yeah okay chucked that's the right answer i was gonna correct you if you said <laughs> the other one um what was the first sport that you ever played was it softball right away or do you play others no uh, my very first sport was gymnastics i want to say Either cool. gymnastics or basketball. Not softball, though. That was my last sport. When did you start playing softball? I was seven. Okay. So you yeah. were moving, like, right out the womb. Like, you were ready. Oh, out the womb. We were <laughs> athletes. Yeah. You were Never ready. stopped. Oh, my God. I love it. Um, do you have any pets? I have two cats. Okay. So cat person. What are their names? No, I'm actually a dog person, but my parents chose two cats. So, but... <laughs> um, there's... Oh, okay. Okay, but you would have a dog if you were to like have a dog. Do you have a kind of dog that you like would want to get right now? Abs absolutely, English bulldog, one hundred percent. Oh, cute! Yeah, the fattest, the fattest one out there is mine. I'm calling dibs. <laughs> I want the chunkiest one. <laughs> Oh my goodness. If you weren't playing softball, what would you be doing? Like if this wasn't your path right now? Right now where I'm at in my life, I would probably do something with personal training and nutrition just because I'm super passionate about that. Yeah. Tell us more about that. Like when did that passion start? I, I think I've seen, do you have an Instagram fitness? Page? I do. Okay. I do. Okay. Erica I've Fit. Yeah, I do. Um, my fitness passion probably started in college um not the first year I hated weights my freshman year but I don't know after that something just clicked and it, it, you start to really um love the process and I love the change that I was seeing in my body and um now I'm just like I can't imagine my life without working out and I would love to just be able to help people see it the same way that I see it yeah well, I'll hit you up after this because I, I would love to see it the same way you see it. <laughs> okay, did you have a favorite uh, subject when you were in school? I was super good at math. Cool. So I was interested in that, but didn't really go far with math. <laughs> it's okay, softball. It's okay. Yeah. It's... Are you, were you like a science person too? Like, could you get into science too? Because I was yeah. not English and not science. Was I was no I hated English I was all math and science I wanted to be a doctor when I first got to college and I think that's because of Grey's Anatomy but yeah yeah as soon as I started actually like going to the classes I switched real quick so yeah you're like this ain't wasn't perfect. this is not like the show I'm watching yeah this is not like Grey's <laughs> like we can't get away with all this stuff no <laughs> um who's the hardest pitcher that you've faced in your career that you can think of like your kryptonite right away Oh, uh, Wayno from the Japan team. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Probably the hardest pitcher I've faced. Yeah, she's brutal. She's tough. Yeah. Really, really tough. Um, proudest moment during your career so far? Proudest moment was qualifying for the Olympics, I think, uh, last summer. Awesome. Um, Netflix shows that you're binge watching? Are you watching anything right now? Well, get this. Right now, I restarted Grey's Anatomy. That's a hard one to restart. <laughs> That's like a whole thing. That's like a lifetime. <laughs> I don't know why I got this urge to just restart it, but that's what I'm watching right now. Oh, my goodness. Grey's, like, 
do you feel emotionally taxed when you watch that? Like, always. That is just emotional overwhelming. Always. <laughs> yes. Okay, who is your uh, favorite? You can pick more than one because maybe a few of them might be watching, but do you have any favorite teammates that you've played with throughout your career? I do. Um, Justice McLean, I see her in the comments. Uh, I know she, she's, she's, <laughs> she's been my my right hand since all four years or all three years I was in college with her um and then pretty much my whole national team really all of them have a very special place in my heart and um they've helped me get to where I am right now so I couldn't thank them for that couldn't thank them enough awesome we love softball bonds um going out outfit if you're like right now you're picking an outfit in your closet what are you putting together like cute outfit cute outfit well let's uh, do both. let's do a cute outfit and then let's do like a lazy kind of chilling outfit all yeah. right my cute outfit usually would be some high-waisted jeans with a cute little top and some nike air forces yes i'm not really I a heel it. person <laughs> And then my, my lazy is just sweat sweatshirt and some um, colorful Nike Air Ones. Okay, you've got it yeah. like all laid out. Like this I is do. <laughs> I love your outfits too. I'm always keeping, I'm like, okay, what is she wearing today? Because I want to wear something like that. I love it. Um, okay, when you're hitting, are you looking inside half, outside half? What's your go-to? Inside half, probably. Uh, my go-to is down the middle, but inside half. <laughs> right, we love a good tight <laughs> pitch. Like <laughs> we love a good down the middle. Are you looking like screwball? Like, do you like it elevated a little bit? You like it low in the zone? I think ele – actually, no. My swing is more for low in the zone, but I also do really good with elevated pitches if I'm not expecting it. So, right. I think just inside anywhere Got is it. my go-to. I love inside pitches. When it works out, I love inside pitches. I hope no one's watching from, like, someone that's about to pitch to me. <laughs> I know. You're like, never mind. I like uh, – I like outside. Pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like outside low, like not a strike at all. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, here's another one. If you were to be playing a different sport professionally right now, like which league would you be a part of? Any sport? I really yeah. like I really like volleyball. I'm super into volleyball, but I know that they're also kind of like softball. They don't really have a lot of pro leagues, but definitely volleyball. Yeah. I'm obsessed. Yeah. And AU Sports actually has a volleyball. Yes, that's, that's super out. exciting. Yeah. Have you interacted with any of those girls yet or seen anything? I I'm actually part of a AU group with uh, Molly McGee from oh, yeah. from volleyball. Nice. So she's the first one I've talked to from volleyball. Awesome. That's so cool. AU Sports, shout out to AU Sports for doing it the right way. They're killing it. Shout I'm out so to AU. You got your merch on. I love it. I love it. I do. I can't wait. I'm, I'm so excited to watch you guys play. We're going to give it a, a chance to see if anybody's asked any questions. So let me like roll through these really quick. So if anybody watching has any questions for Erica while she's on, this is your time to ask. Let's see. We're looking through. Erica, what's your message to people gearing up to watch AU sports? Like, what are you telling them? Um, I'm – y'all be ready because this is about to be an amazing experience, an amazing league. I think um, already college softball has such an amazing atmosphere on TV and, like, all the amazing players playing, playing against each other. And I feel like AU is just bringing that and then adding 10 times the enthusiasm to it so i'm super excited to to see the competition and see what happens i can't wait as a fan to watch i i super can't wait all right justice is on here and she's asking one question <laughs> vegan brownie recipe is this a recipe or is this like a famous vegan brownie that we need i don't know i've only made a brownies once and i like made them vegan because i substituted butter with avocados how but was that? I, it was good. It was really good. I saw okay. this. All, yeah, awesome. it was good. I'm I'm anti butter. I'm against butter on a lot of things. So mm. this is like a typical brownie recipe I did in college. Got it. Well, I'm gonna have to like snag that recipe for me someday. We have one more question. When you step up to the plate, this is from Brenna. When you step up to the plate, what do you do to prepare yourself for the pitches ahead? 
Um, I try to just relax and really slow down my breathing. Um, like I said, I keep things very simple, so I don't try to guess what pitch is coming. Um, mine is just see ball, hit ball, and just react, really. So I just try to keep it as simple as I can in the box. Awesome. Okay, well, I think that does it. Erica, thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. Thank you for back. having we're me. Both in, we're both in California. I'm like, this is like we're together in the backyard. Right I now. know. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to another AU uh, live chat. We're going to be back again next Friday, so look out for the next special guest. But, Erica, we wish you luck. We're rooting for you, and have a fun season with AU Sports. Thank you so much. Have a great day, Lauren. Thanks, Erica. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Bye.